What's going on? Strat Soldier here for the podcast in force. The only podcast with me, the Strat Soldier, looking through the market through the eyes of the Strat. What's going on? How you guys doing? Today is August 1st. August 1st. Thank you so much for, for being here. Man, July was a doozy. July was nuts. July continues to move SPY to the highs. Now we are currently uh, inside bar on the month and inside bar on the week, even though uh, today, August 1st, was the very first day of the month. So nothing to scream at yet. All right, nothing to really just go nuts about. Again, SPY inside, inside, all right? We want this thing to go higher. We want this thing to go above 450, 450. We also want the week to get above uh, four. Um, hold on, those prices don't make sense. Uh, we want the SPY to go above 460, 460, and we want SPY to go above uh, 459 on the week. And 460 on the month. 460, 459 on the week and 460 on the month. We want that two up on the month and two up on the week. That's what we want. Uh, but again, SPY has been going straight up for one, two, three, four, five months now. Five months. Uh, that's amongst. Uh, that's 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 despite uh, the Fed talking about. You know, we're going to be. We're going to be, you know, raising rates and, we're, you know, everything is going to be going to the, to the downside and really going to be wrecking this market. And it's not really, you know, it's not cooperating. You know, like I said, I said this in the beginning. I said this in the beginning. I said this back in, um, I said this back in February and March that the institutional buyers are sick of the downside. They are. They're sick of the downside. They want to make some money. And they used AI to uh to make that excuse to say now we're buying all right <laughs> remember i said we're going to get it once we get above four uh 418 on the month uh that's going to be you know it's going to let everybody know it's time to buy and it hit that all right then i said once it gets above 431 that's going to let everybody know it's go time and that's what it's been happening since we hit that uh since we hit that price in june all right, we hit 431 and we have not stopped going down. That doesn't mean uh, trading has been easy, all right, because we've been dealing with a lot of gap ups and a lot of gap downs. We've been dealing with a lot of uh, Fed news. We've been dealing with a lot, all right? So if you are, you've been going long on things like NVIDIA, Apple, uh, any of the tech stocks, well, not any of them, but a lot of the tech stocks, uh, you've been doing well, you've been doing well. Uh, XLE is trying to go back to the highs uh, as we speak. They're trying to get that thing back up. Uh, we had a 2 2 reversal back up on uh, XLE Energies last week, excuse me, last month. Last month, it's been going one, two, three, four months to the highs, excuse me, four weeks to the highs, four weeks to the highs. XLE. Uh, the next one after that is retail. All right, XRT Retail has been trying to make a comeback. Uh, yeah, like a 2-2 continuation up last month, but it's been going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 straight weeks up. And XRT, find those, find those uh, holdings and retail that are going to the highs. Again, uh, just because it's been doing that doesn't mean it's been easy. We've had a lot of a lot of crazy action, and we've had a lot of whipsaw and a lot of sideways action today in the spy. Again, today's August first. We end today at four fifty six, four fifty six, and the day ended as a two down, but green and more like a doji, like a little doji piece of crap thing. It ain't that great. It ain't that great at all. This little doji thing on the on the week, excuse me, on the day, on the day, little doji thing on the day. Uh, one, two, three days all stuck in a mother bar. That is a mother bar on uh, on the daily chart. That's not fun. Right. That's not fun to be stuck in. But it's it's awesome that you recognize that. Right. Because now, you know, yes, we attempted to go three one two reversal up and it did not go 
and it went in force for like just a little bit and came right back in all right then we had a setup for a 2-1-2 reversal down, a rev strat to the downside. It did go in force, but just for a little bit, it came right back up. What's that mean? It means there's a consolidation that's forming on the charts. These last three days are stuck in the last in uh, July 27th, July 27th, uh, July 28th. July 31st and August 1st are all stuck in July 27th range. I want you to go look at that for yourself on your own charts. Look at the daily chart. All right, that's a scenario three. That's a mother bar, mother bar problems. Mother bar problems. If we drop down to the 60s, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Drop down to the 60s and you will see all the bars for the last three days are stuck in last week's compound three on the 27th where they just it's a lot of profit taken to the downside and we've just been trading sideways on that okay that's it's not fun but it's it's good to know that there's a chop shop in there all right there's a chop shop chop shop and um i want to play a sample for you from uh from rob but that's gonna that's gonna bring me to um i'll oh, shoot i'll play it anyway chop shop in there folks all right chop shop in there um oh well, you know what hold on hold on i want to play it i want to play this i want to play this uh i want to play this sample i do chop shop in here folks chop shop in here now that's not an inside day that's not an inside day but but it looks like uh, if you if we're looking at these 60 minute charts i always tell you if you don't know what's going on go to a higher time frame. See if you're trading an inside bar. Uh, if you go to the daily, nope, not inside. It's not inside, but it is stuck in a mother bar, okay? Then you go to the weekly. You go to the weekly and it's inside week. It's inside week. Yes, we're only two days into the week, all right? But it's still inside week. That's something I wanna know about because it's a consolidation, all right? Consolidation, it's, it's a mess, right? Chop, shop. I kind of hesitated on uh, playing that clip uh, because um, we had some tough news. We had some tough news about Rob Smith uh, about Rob Smith on Sunday. Uh, not this Sunday, last Sunday, um, Rob Smith passed away. Um, uh, we're not gonna, you know, we're gonna talk about all his uh, medical issues or nothing like that. That's not my place to do. But he did pass away. He uh, he put on Twitter that he was going into the hospital for um, for some stuff. All right, you know what I mean. He did put it on Twitter, so I can say that he put it on Twitter, and he started talking about you know some complications. So he went in. He sent me a text message and. Uh, you know, another partner from set up your group and is like, Hey, I'm going to be in the hospital for a couple of day, a couple of days. And I, I'll see when I get back. All right. So that was the last text I got from Rob. Um, I, I hesitated to play that clip, but I wanted to play it. All right. Now diamonds, QQQ, they're both doing the same thing. All right. I'm looking at Netflix. I'm in Netflix right now. Um, I just want to say swing trading can be tough. Uh, swing trading can be tough because each participation group starts over. All right, that's what I was going to kind of go into this, but I wanted to, I had to play that clip. I had to play that clip. I had to do it for Rob. And I, and so this brings me to what I originally was going to talk about in the entire episode. So let's just get into it. All right. You need to have somebody that you trust to talk about trading with. Okay, have a buddy. In the army, we call them battle buddies. I think they call them uh, warrior companions now because we're not in a wartime uh, uh, situation right now. And it's kind of silly for all, all the veterans out there. Yes, I know. Even battle buddy was kind of silly too, but that's what I grew up with. So that's what I, I know. Have a buddy that you can talk with, that you trust, that you can talk about trading with. Okay, so that was Rob for me for a long time especially for the last two years. I can talk to Rob and be like, hey, Rob, this is what, you know, I was in every power hour with Rob. Hey, what are we doing? What are we looking at? You know, and uh, for most of this year, he was like, it's, it's doing nothing. 
inside year doing nothing. All right. Then things started waking up in the spy on the month. Um, but have somebody you can talk to. Okay. Cause it, it can be very taxing on your mind and your spirit to keep, to keep trading every day. Now, most of the time I'm always upbeat. I'm always talking about, you know, do this and that, and you know, we don't want to get killed. And that's still all true. That's still all true. Uh, one thing I think, um, something I think that most traders don't talk about, especially professional traders talk about is the mental load of thinking about these charts all day long. You always talk, you always hear about people talk about the passion of trading. Oh man, I love going through, you know, hundreds of charts every night. Sometimes it ain't fun. All right. Sometimes it ain't fun. And, but that's why I like the strat because I know I can go straight down. I can look at the, the indexes. I can look index in this indices. I can look at spy diamonds, QQQ. All right. What have I got? Do I have any actionable signals? I can go down the sectors and go, okay, what actionable signals do I have on these? And I can get through them quick because Rob taught me how to do that. So that's why I show you guys. That's why I always post spy all the time. That's why I talk about spy all the time and not a bunch of individual names. All right. Cause Rob taught me how to look at the bigger picture. All right. Once you find those actionable signals, then you drill down and look for those individual names. But we are always trying to trade that simultaneous break. Rob taught me, Rob used to talk about that all the time. He'd be like, they'd be like, Jermaine, we ain't trying to trade. <laughs> we ain't trying to trade individual names. We want simultaneous breaks. I want, I want 10 stock. I want 10 winning positions all in XLE. I want, I want 10 winning possessions all in XLK. You know, that's what, that's what I want. I'm looking for anything taken out yesterday, yesterday's highs or last week's highs. And I'm trading anything that looks exactly the same. All right. And I, you know, I just text Rob. Uh, I used to, you know, we had, I got a couple weekend shifts episodes with Rob and, uh, and then she talked to Rob on the phone too. And, and even before then, Yes, I, I yes I was a part of Rob uh, Rob Smith's live room, in uh, live trading room, and back in 2019, and I just I'm paying for this thing. I you, you heard me tell my stories on weekend shift, uh, but I'll tell you guys here I I'm paying for this thing and I dag on I'm gonna get my money's worth. You know what I mean? So I used to get in there and just be just typing. What are we doing here? What's my level of defense? What do I know to be true? Because back in 2019 you had to have specific words to get Rob's attention. Cause he would just be talking, talking, talking. And then you had to say, Rob, I'm looking at Netflix. I'm looking at a hammer on the week. All right. What do I do? What do we know to be true about Netflix? And then he'll take you to the, he'll take you through the chart. This is what we're looking for. This is where I want to get in. You want to put your stop somewhere around in here. All right. If you notice, I teach it the same way. I teach exactly how Rob taught me 30 years in the business. I'm listening to Rob 30 years in the business. I'm listening to him. Uh, but he was always someone I could talk to about stuff and things. And Rob's also the one that, um, when I got to go to his office and I got to meet him face to face and we got to talk and laugh about things, uh, face to face. Uh, he also taught me one thing that was very valuable. He's like, uh, you know, Rob, you know, the strat's not just for the charts, the strat's real life. You know, sometimes you get that consolidation. Sometimes you, you're inside bar on something. You're like, I don't know how this is going to play out. And he, and he told me, you know, you got to take those little actions to get that thing to go two and two reversal up. Sometimes you're, you're, you had a, you know, snail three to the downside and it sucks, but wait for that consolidation, wait for the wrist. All right. Then you get in there, do the right things and then get this thing to go reverse back to the upside. You know, that, that's when it, that's when everything, the, the strat clicked, you know, that was the, you know. I did have my aha moments of my own. I did get, you know, understand the strat and that's how I got to Rob and to his office and to meet him. But I mean, that was the last one when he said, it's not just about the charts, you know, it's about what, you know, the strat in real life. And that's, uh, and, and then keeping, keeping your stops tight. You know what I mean? That was really big for me. Um, really, really big. So Rob was always someone I could talk to and I wasn't, Rob used to always tell me all the time, like, hey, everybody's giving me the, hey, Rob, hey, Rob, you know, hundreds of DMs he'd be telling me about, 
not necessarily telling me your guys' stories, I'm saying, or situations, I'm just saying Rob would be telling me, like, I, I answer all these, these DMs all day long, all day long, and then I'm in the chat, and then I'm in, you know what I mean, on my live stream, and I've got to answer all these questions all the time. Even, even though he did the power hour, even though he did the weekend vid, even though he did the macro vid, he's still getting the same questions. And he didn't care. Um, he was willing to help. And that's what he did for me too. And that's what I try to emulate. You know, even with this podcast, I try to emulate that. Uh, just because someone's listening to it and they will get just that, maybe that's that, that one little thing, that one little piece they were missing. Why is time frame continuity important? Why is the broadening formation important? Why are actionable signals important? And I say that one thing and then they go, ah, that makes, okay, I got it. And then they take off and then they, you know what I mean? Then they're making more money than me. <laughs> uh, you know, they're making more money than me. Uh, so I have a person, uh, but I, Rob was always a person I can go to. Rob was everybody's person to go to, to talk to him about trading. Rob, I, you know, I'm, I got, you know, I don't know what happened. You know what I mean? Rob will say, okay, let's pull up the charts. This is what happened. All right, time frame, you know, everything started reversing to the downside. Or you're in puts, everything started reversing up. There was a good, you know, oil's report it was on Wednesday. It comes out every Wednesday, one hour after the, you know, after the open, you know. After the first hour, there's an oil's report, you know. So, um, you know. Have a buddy, have a buddy you can talk to, that you can trust, that you can, it's okay, you know what I mean? You don't have to air out all your stuff to everybody on Twitter about your PL, about what you're doing and what you did wrong and what you're doing good and all the stuff you're dealing with at home and everything. And, and you don't have to, you know, regurgitate that up for everybody all the time. There's some people out there that are doing that. And that's their therapy. Good for them. Uh, I'm not doing that, you know. Um, I like to keep some of it, you know what I mean? Um, I'm a real human being, you know what I mean? So I used to go to Rob. Another person uh, I like to go to is Sarah, Sarah the Strat Sniper, or Strat Sniper Sarah, I always say it backwards. She's definitely someone I can talk to. Hey, I'm trying to, you know, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing here, this is what I'm doing there. These are my good trades, these are my bad trades, you know what I mean? Um, she, and she'll tell me the truth. I know she'll tell me the truth. She, she'll, she'll, one time, uh, it, there's a quick story about uh, trading options. Everybody wants, wonders why I don't trade options all the time and why I don't promote trading options all the time. Is because you can take large losses trading options. All right, you small account people, work on trading common shares and creating those winning positions. Get into the habit of being consistently profitable with those common shares then you can move to options. Then you can work on it. I was reading an article and I retweeted it um, about this guy talking about, um, he's a professional trader, but he's showing you know, you know someone else. And uh, someone comes to him and says, I need help, I need to learn how to trade. Anyway, this person lost all their savings, $70,000 worth of savings, lost it all. Why? They were only six months into trading the only thing they were trading were options. He lost it all. All right. I'm not saying I'm not saying options are bad. I'm not saying people that trade options are gambling. I'm not saying any of that. Okay. What I'm saying is be careful. Be careful. A lot of small account people will push. Hey, you need to trade options. You have small account. You need to trade options because it's it's less capital and you can make more. That's true, but they don't tell you that you can lose more. Okay. You can lose more. And then you'll get those people that say, ah, losing $500 is easy. Ah, you can make that back up. Maybe you can. But it's also what you earn and what you make is all dependent on your skill, your skill level. Okay? I'm better at common shares. <laughs> I do trade options, but I'll trade them sparingly. Sparingly. All right? And when it, and when it hits magnitude, I'm taking the profits. Boom, I'm out. I'm out. Take them. All right. That's what I do. That's how I trade options. I trade them sparingly. I want to stay in them common shares. That's what I want to do. All right. And I talked to Sarah about that one time. So I say all that to say um, I was talking to Sarah back in 2020 
and this is before all this other stuff. Uh, and uh, I'm talking to Sarah, and she, I'm like, I lost this much money on options. I was trying to do this and trying to do that. She texts. She texts me. Um, she sent me a three words, in all caps. Three words. Stop trading options. Stop trading options. And she didn't talk to me for the rest of the day. And, and then, of course, I waited a day, and then I was like, hey, I'm back in common shares. Hey, you going to talk to me still? <laughs> I wasn't begging. I wasn't looking for, you know, I wasn't the, you know, oh, please talk to me like that. But I was like, you seem pretty, pretty pissed. And uh, she was, you know what I mean? I keep telling her about how am I taking these losses? And she's like, you, you know, yes, the right actionable signal. That's this. You did great here. And then like, but what's the common denominator? It's the freaking options. It's the freaking options. And there are some people out there and they are great at trading options. You see them all over Twitter. They're great. Good for them. But daggone it. I'd rather you learn how to trade common shares Create those winning positions, defend them with tight stops, and take those profits and watch those profits add up. And then when things go to the downside, you trade the inverse. You know what I mean? Uh, SQQ or, or uh, SPXS, something like that. Um, you can still go long on those is what I'm saying as the market's going down. But then what I also what I'm saying is um, you're taking small losses when those when those things reverse. You're taking small losses. Okay. That's what you need to learn. That's the thing, Rob. That's what Rob imprinted on me. Okay? Create those winning positions and defend them with tight stops. I'd rather you make $100 and then the next day lose $5. I'd rather you make $200 and then, you know, next week you lose 20 bucks. I'd rather see you see I'd rather see you trade like that than, you know, $5,000 a week. Oh man, and then next week you lose, you know, you know, six thousand dollars those are real numbers by the way i'm mean, those aren't my numbers but those are real numbers that people uh share and i'm like mm, no that's not good that's not good okay so you got to learn how to take those small losses have a bad and, and once you do when you do take those losses you have a drawdown when you have a drawdown again everybody talks about market uh or trading psychology um, yes, you need that trading psychology. Yes, you need to be, you know, your own mentor, your own coach. You need to be, you need to have that strong mindset, but you also need to have that person you can talk to. You need to have that person you can, you can call and be like, Hey, this is what's going on. How do I fix it? You know what I mean? So that's what Rob was for me. That's what Sarah is for me as well. Um, there's a couple of traders that I talked to. Uh, and you know, they helped me out, they helped me out. Um, uh, Gunny B, Jim Bradley, um, there's, uh, you know, JP, JP's out there. We talk about trading too. Chuck, 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 back at it again with the strat scan. I talked to him too. Uh, Andy from Mighty Trades, I talked to him. You got to have the people that you can, t that you can trust, you can talk to about trading. Okay. All right, so that's the lesson for today. Uh, have a buddy, all right? If you don't have one, make one. Make one that you can trust, all right? Um, make make some friends in this. It doesn't have to be lonely, all right? A lot of people are in like these big communities and that's good uh, and they're sharing and everybody's learning together, but you, there's nothing, it doesn't compare to having, you know, you and another person. Big communities are great, you know what I mean? Uh, but you and, you and another person or you and a couple people, you know what I mean? That's the core group that you're, you're okay with sharing what's going on, you know? So that's what's good. That's just, that is going to do it for me. The Strat Soldier. Okay. Uh, go check out, um, go check out the Strat Soldier.com. All right. Go check out the Strat Soldier.com. Uh, the Strat Soldier.com so that, um, I got webinars. I got some. I got to come up with dates for August. I also do one-on-one -on -one sessions. But I got my strategy execution course. I also got my uh, strat trade checklist course. All right. The strat trade checklist course is about using time frame continuity effectively. Come 
combining actual signals, time frame continuity, and broadening formations all in one thing to create a good trading plan. All right, that's what it's about. Uh, and then if you don't know anything about trading, check out my, um, my book, uh, From Zero to Trading. All right, there's a lot of decisions you have to make before you even start trading. So go check that book out. It comes with a free bonus vid. <sighs> all right, so sorry about the sombering you know, mood on this one, but it's true. You need to have a battle buddy. All right, you need to have someone that you can talk to about all this stuff. All right. So that's your that's your that's your homework for this week. Uh, for you know, I'll see you on the fifteenth. This is the Strat Soldier. I'll talk to you guys later.